Okay, this lift you're looking at right now is called the Denver lift. And we use this in a very tight hallway where you don't have the ability to have firefighters on either side. So this one firefighter will pivot the firefighter towards him. Another firefighter crawls into the window and then he's gonna act as a pivot, again, pushing that firefighter up from the bottom, and together they'll work to get the firefighter out of that window. So by having this technique where you have two firefighters on either side, grabbing the handholds on the harness, and then have another firefighter come in the window, and basically he's gonna be pushing from the underside, and together they are gonna fluidly remove this firefighter out the window to a retrieval team. Again, firefighters weigh on the average about two to 300 pounds with their equipment, and one person can be have a real difficult time getting this person out of the window. Okay, the next lift you're gonna look at is what we call an attic ladder removal, but this can be done with a uh, backboard or really any ladder that's gonna be able to fit into that, uh, to the building. But an attic ladder, we just use it as a teeter-totter. Two firefighters grab the firefighter, put them on the ladder, and they basically just teeter-totter that attic ladder to the retrieval team, having the firefighter exit out the window. This removal is the ladder removal. On this one, you have two firefighters that actually pick up the firefighter, and we also clip on the, the drop bag to the DRD strap on the back of the turnouts. And this is to kind of uh, slow the speed down the ladder, especially if it's a rainy day. The uh, feet are straddled on the rescuer, and as you can see, we slowly descend down to the front of the ladder with the drop bag being used as a bit of a break uh, to get this person down to the ground safely and effectively. When you need to lower a victim out of a window who's unconscious, we can utilize our drop bag and the ladder as a friction device. We'll use the drop bag, weave it from the bottom rung through the fourth, bring the hook all the way up to the top, but we must remember to make sure to raise that ladder above the windowsill so we can do this. And then we lower the firefighter gently down to the ground. The upstairs removal shows a firefighter grabbing the BA harness at the top and having the other firefighter with the down firefighter's legs on either side of his shoulders and then using his hands to remove the firefighter up the stairs to working together as a team. Two firefighter removal upstairs requires two rescuers to grab the shoulder straps of the BA, make sure again that we reconfigure that BA and they work together to remove the firefighter out of the building going upstairs. Downstairs removal. One rescuer will grab the shoulder straps of the BA, the other rescuer will have the legs on either side of his shoulder and together they will slowly descend down the stairwell and remove the firefighter from the building. This is a hose removal for a conscious victim who can assist with his own rescue. Victim will go ahead and place the hose underneath both armpits. The rescuers up top will grab that hose, walk in opposite directions, a rescue firefighter will help with the retrieval of that firefighter to get him away from the danger zone. To remove an unconscious victim from a hole, we can utilize an unfilled hose, put a girth hitch around the firefighter, and remove him the same way from the top side with rescuers pulling the hose upward.